welcome to the video guys and today's video is very exciting it's gonna be about the intel 11 gen processors and the keynote intel gave at the ces 2021 so let me straight up cut to the chase the intel 11900k is their flagship processor they have announced it and also they have compared it to amd's r9 5900x 5900x is a 12 core 24 thread cpu like it's a behemoth their cpu is i9 11900k is 8 cores and 16 threads which overall will impact performance differently in multi-core score but the single core score is improved the single core score is 19 percent improved so what you saw with the ryzen 3000 to 5000 series you see with the intel 10 generation to 11 generation this is their flagship gaming cpu it has up to 5.3 gigahertz of single core turbo boost their thermal velocity something boost they have some boosting algorithm so which boosts it up to 5.3 gigahertz which is really good like 5.3 and you can even overclock it even more so 5.4 gigahertz or 5.2 gigahertz all core with a good aio in the pc end it would be easy so intel is literally pushing the limits and that is really good but the problem is it's still it's still 14 nanometers and how much power it would consume we don't know intel didn't announce it and in gaming it's similar to ryzen it's like two to five percent faster than the ryzen 5900x which is in its price category when it will be launched so basically that is fine but the problem here is eight cores and i7 is gonna have eight cores i9 is gonna have eight cores that is very weird they also have improved graphics and they support a new streaming technology av1 i guess that's the name is helpful for like streaming streamers and that's good for me that's good for you but for the general consumer it's nothing new and intel is also bringing like the amd smart memory kind of thing like you have to use a amd gpu and cpu so intel is bringing that that is something some feature from windows i'll update you on that here x gen pci gen 4 so finally pci gen 4 support with intel so you can use pci gen 4 ssds pci gen 4 3000 series graphic cards from nvidia and amd so that is a good thing like in tension it didn't support pci 4.0 it was still pci 3.0 and they also increased the lanes from 16 to 20 lanes i guess 20 lanes of pci gen 4 that is pretty good again and the stock memory configuration is like the ram configuration goes up to 3200 megahertz without the xmp so this cpu you can directly install 3200 megahertz of ram and it will benefit from the previous generations okay so let's move over to the other things intel have announced so intel also told that their 12th generation is coming this year 2021 in the last quarter q4 i guess it will be that like 11th generation is basically a stop gap between the so that they could basically compete with the r9 r 5900x and basically amd ryzen 5000 series and they will be launching the alder lake i guess it's the alder lake that's the 12th gen uh, let's talk about the b series motherboards so b series motherboards are also updated so you can finally overclock your ram on those motherboards so if you buy a uh, suppose 11400f or something like a non overclockable processor they finally are supporting in b series the b like it was the b560 or something the new chip so in the new chip they will be supporting memory overclocking which is really good they still don't support the processor overclocking which i guess is fine in the budget range but going up to an i7 they should like support processor overclocking like all throughout their range like above from i5 they should from i7 and i9 they should remove the like the non k variants and just support overclocking out of the box and maybe in future they could also support overclocking with their b series but you need a k series processor and a b series motherboard so like you could buy an i5 or 11600k or 12600k in future and just have the b series motherboard that will be a really benefit because z series z590 is expensive so they also announced the z590 and motherboards from 
asus msi gigabyte every every motherboard manufacturer motherboards from every manufacturer they have basically posted those motherboards on their websites and you can check them out like literally right now and the 11th generation will be available around two three months later so it's not coming around the ces or january or february mark three months later it will be available all around the world and which is a really good thing because until at least in the low end they can compete like the 11600k and the i7 or 11700k so these kind of cpus are not very expensive from intel and they tend to get lower in prices so like the 11400f and the 11300 the i3 generation for your perspective the i3 generation is not getting an architecture upgrade it's not getting a, a new core so it's based on the 10th generation it's basically a refresh of 10th generation so ie that is basically it's a 10th generation chip so do not buy the i3 and the best products from this 11th generation will be coming out those will be the i5 11600k and the i7 11700 and also the i5 11400f which is the known overclockable and which will not have the integrated graphics so that will be a hell of a cpu because you finally get to see the new architecture it's still 14 nanometers which is really sad but in pc like if you really see practically in your pc you have a power supply you don't care about the consumption the power consumption you could just buy a big power supply and amd in the mid-range and low-end market is gonna have trouble and intel is finally stepping up their game but the 8 core 16 thread i9 11900k is a really bad deal so hopefully intel comes out with something new and their 12th generation processor will use the big little architecture which is basically which is used in your smartphone as well so if you're using any smartphone right now it has around if it's a mid-range or high-end even phone so it has four cores which are high performance cores and four cores which are power saving low performance cores so intel is gonna do that on the 10 nanometer process and i don't know how it's gonna help because in pc you have a power supply you're not worried about the power savings so it's a hit or a miss kind of a thing but when the but when the 12th generation will be out we'll see how practical it is and how it works out and that's about it for the video guys if you like the intel launch let me know in the comments what do you think what are your opinions in let me know in the comments what are your opinions about the intel chips let's get started i'm um, so welcome to the guys video what i'm um, so welcome to the guys video